Hey, people. So what's happening? You know what? This company called Peavy, you may have heard of them. They called me up and said, Tony, we need you to do an unboxing for us. I have been sent something very special, a Media Matrix Neon. Right. Let's look at what it says on the site. No, actually, I'm not going to show you that. Let's just break into this bad boy right now. Got my unboxing knife. Oh, oof, this box is certainly well made. Always a good sign. So, it's a huge 2U device. So much power inside. There's some other stuff in here. No idea what that's for. Okay, here it is. Let's look at the back. You've got the RS-232. You got power. You got GPIO. You got RS-485. You got Ethernet jacks for control. It's got four audio card slots with loads to choose from. Let's see what they've given me. Well, I've got the eight input card. That's eight micro line inputs. No, wait a second. It's the AEC card. Fantastic. This means I've got eight channels of echo cancellation for use with video conference systems. If you want to see how that works, just click on my link. So, they've given me eight line outputs to connect to my amplifiers and that sort of thing. I've also got an AES card. This is cool because it's eight digital connections, but it's really 16 channels of audio. Eight stereos equals 16 channels. Now, what's super cool here is that each pair can be an in or an out, so you can have any combination you like. In the fourth slot, I've got the 4x4 four four card, which gives me four ins and four outs. There's a couple of Dante ports, so you can connect it up to the latest audio networking gear. Let's switch it on. Nice blue display. Okay, let's get into what this can really do. Okay, so we've powered up the software and it's just incredible what we've got here. Let's have a look. Oh my God, there are nine parametric equalizers and a custom option. Then there's all the others. You see, this product has been around for a while, but that's not a bad thing, right? Because they just keep updating it. They released over 40 major updates in the past few years. So we got FIR filters, we got dynamics, we've got compressors, limiters, you got auto mixers, gain sharing and gated mixers, crossovers, automatic gain control, ambient noise. So I wanted to look at the Kiosk to go HTML5 capability, so I borrowed my daughter's iPad. Oh wow, look at that. So I've created the control screen and now it's live publishing it to my iPad. If I change it here, look, it changes over there. That's so cool. And I can fit a set of controls inside another control screen. That is just so awesome. HTML5, baby! If you want to see the file I made for this demo, you can download it here. All of this is excellent, of course, but let's look at that packaging again. Next week, I'm going to review the Kitchen Blaster 9000.